For x being ge geometrically distributed with a probability of success p, find the probability generating function and hence find the mean and the variance. So if x is geometric p, then and q is 1 minus p, then g of t will be the sum of all x, the probability of x is equal to x, t to the x, and g of t is also equal to e of t x i.e. these things are the same thing. g of t will be from 1 to n of p q x minus 1. That's the probability that x is equal to x, t to the x. So writing a few terms out, there's p t plus p q t squared plus p q t cubed plus etc. up to p q n minus 1 t to the n. Taking out p as a common factor, we get t plus q t squared plus q squared t plus q to the n minus 1 t, and t to the n. This is an infinite geometric progression with common ratio g times t, q times t, sorry. So g of t will be the sum of a geometric progression uh, progression, so it's p, the first term here, and the sum of this will be t divided by 1 minus qt. This comes from the formula u1 over 1 minus r, the sum of a geomet infinite geometric progression. So g of t is equal to that. Now, if we want to find the expectation, we need to find g dash to 1. So, Differentiating this, okay, this is u over v, which is use the quotient rule, it's u over v because we've got t here and t here. So it's going to be 1 minus qt v times the u by dx, which is p, minus u, which is pt, times the differential of the denominator there, which is minus q, all over the denominator squared. So this is going to be equal to. Uh, P coming out as a common factor, and we've got 1 minus QT plus QT, 1 minus QT minus minus, so it's plus QT with the P coming out, over 1 minus QT to the squared. This one, this will disappear, and therefore we've got P over 1 minus QT all squared. G dash of 1 will be 1 over 1 minus Q times 1 squared. So P will be 1 minus Q, which gives me now P over 1 minus Q, which is now P, P squared, which is 1 over P, which is what we expect for the uh, mean of a geometric progression. For the variance, we're going to need to work out G double dash of 1. So G dash of T is P over 1 minus Q, T squared. So it's going to become P times 1 minus qt to the minus 2, taking this up here. Differentiating using the chain rule, so we're going to have minus 2p, 1 minus qt to the minus 3, times the differential of the bracket, which is minus q. So rewriting that, we're going to get 2pq over 1 minus qt or cubed. G double dash of 1 will become 2pq over 1 minus q to the 1. p is equal to 1 minus q. So we're going to have 2pq over p cubed. Obviously, they the will cancel, so we get 2q over p squared. So the variance of x is g double dash of 1 plus g dash of 1 plus g dash of 1 all squared. So substituting in, we've got 2q over p squared from here. From the first part, we know the mean is 1 over p minus the mean squared, 1 over p squared. Making a common denominator of p squared. So this will be 2q, this will be p, and this will just be 1, because this, when you square this will be p squared. All right, now doing a little trick. So 2q minus 1 minus p is the same as minus 1 plus p over p squared. Now 1 minus p you know to be equal to q, so we've now got 2q minus q over p squared, which is going to give me q over p squared, which is what you know for the variance of a geometric progression.